Hello my friends, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. In this video, I'll be doing a bike review of the Viathon M1 GX Eagle mountain bike. Once again, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, thanks so much for tuning in. Let's jump right into it and take a look at the Viathon M1 GX Eagle mountain bike. So the M1 is actually available in a few different flavors, but I'll be focusing on the M1 GX Eagle. That being said, all of Viathon's mountain bikes do use the same M1 carbon fiber lightweight frame. The M1 frame is available in either black and silver or black and copper. Plus, you can purchase the frame by itself if you'd like to build your own mountain bike piece by piece. Let's start things off with checking out the different components that come on the 2020 version of the M1 GX Eagle that was sent for me for review. Starting from the cockpit, we've got an FSA stem and FSA handlebars, both afterburners, as well as an FSA headset. For stopping, this bike's equipped with a set of brakes from SRAM. They're the SRAM level TL hydraulic brakes. Since this is a Viathon GX model, no big surprise, the shifting is controlled by a SRAM GX level shifter. The grips on this bike are Argon GA2 mountain bike grips. For front suspension, this bike is equipped with the RockShock SID Select fork. The wheels that come on the M1 GX Eagle are from Stans. They're the Stans No Tubes ZTR Archer S1 wheel set. On those wheels come a set of Continental's Cross King tires. These are 2.3 in the front and 2.2 in the back. Even though this bike is tubeless ready, it was shipped with Kenda inner tubes. The saddle that comes on this bike is from a company called Physique. I found it pretty comfortable. Um, saddles are always a personal preference, but I do have to say that this one did feel pretty good when I took out my test ride. Attaching the seat to the frame is an FSA afterburner seat post. This bike is not equipped with a dropper seat post. Keeping with the GX theme, the rest of the components are GX Eagle level. You've got your GX cranks, ring, that ring is a 32 tooth ring. You've got your SRAM dub bottom bracket, GX chain, GX rear derailleur, and the SRAM XG1275 10 slash 50 tooth cassette. For testing, I took this bike out on a regular guy mountain biking meetup ride to a place called Stevens Park. I wanted to make sure I took this bike to a place where I really thought it would fit, right? Um, the M1 isn't a downhill bike, it's not an enduro bike. I'd say it's more of a cross-country style bike. So that's why I took it to Stevens, because the trails here at Stevens uh, really would suit the style of the bike. So I made sure I would test it in a place where, honestly, I, I thought it would do well. With the M1 GX Eagle weighing in just a touch over 23 pounds less pedals, I really found that this bike climbed hills great, right? The, uh, the frame is an aggressive frame and the geometry is, it's not really too slack. So when it came to hill climbing, I, I have to say this is where the bike definitely, definitely excelled. Bike's amazing. Whew. Steven certainly had more than just hills and flowy trails, so we definitely got to put the M1 through its paces through a few of the rock gardens and definitely a few of the, let's just say, muddier sections of the trail. Oh, all right, time to get the, uh, the Viathon a little gross. Sorry, Mark. Blech. Oh, well, the Viathon floats through water nicely. Oh. Not more mud. I 
I am going to be honest with you, I really have gotten used to using a dropper post, so without having one on this bike, every once in a while, on a few of the features, I had to get off and walk because I just didn't really feel comfortable. That being said, I think after a little bit of time, me and the old Viathon became pretty good friends and had a great cool. time. Oh, now that's, that, see, I mean, like, this thing just kind of launches off of that air. It's so light and so nimble. Yeah. Bottom line, I just found the Viathon a blast to ride, certainly in this flowy cross-country type style. And heck, any bike that gets you out with your friends is a good bike as far as I'm concerned. Hi, good afternoon. Hello, hey, doing? just two more. Right, there you go. Have a nice day. I found the Viathon M1 GX Eagle to be a really fun, super lightweight, agile, a uh, quick bike to motor around the trails. Definitely a bike to look into if you want to get into cross-country racing. Also, if you want to get your kids into Nike racing, this is a great bike. It's very well specced, and without putting in too much money, you can get your kids up and racing with a high-quality bike. I want to certainly thank Viathon for sending this bike over for a review. I had an absolute blast, and I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, my friends, that's my review of the Viathon M1 GX Eagle. Probably the worst thing about this entire review is the fact that I have to put this thing back in the box and send it back because I had so much fun riding it. And, and it's legit. Trust me, if I didn't like it, I, I, I would tell you, okay? And I had a lot of fun riding this bike. So I want to thank Viathon for sending this to me so that I could give it a try and, and let everybody know what it's like. I had a whole lot of fun. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And that's about it, right? Like, subscribe, give me some questions. As always, keep the party on the pedals, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.